I know what you guys are waiting for. My video! No, you're probably waiting to hear who the new subbies are. And listen, I auditioned one time back in the days of old. And I know that you don't care what I'm saying right now. You just want to hear the names. So I'm going to tell you. We had only three spots open, and that was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, because Zoe is becoming an, al an alternate, because Alec is leaving. Um, Wednesday, Layla is leaving, and Friday, Karen is kind of stuck here. No, she's, <laughs> she's not going to post videos, but she's still going to be like an active part of the channel. Um, so, three spots open. Um, fourth spot opened up because um, our Sunday, Nicole, has decided to leave as well. So we have four spots open now. So we thought three of you were coming on. Now we got four. In no particular order, we have <clears throat> Joe. Congratulations, Joe. Um, Jesse or... Yeah, probably Jesse. I'll make Jesse do it. <laughs> Jesse will be in contact with you through your email if you sent the video through your email to her. Um, she'll be in contact with you, telling you, you know, all the stuff about all the stuff about the Beetle Submarine. Second person is Angeline with the awesome haircut. We all liked your haircut. Um, <laughs> but welcome to the channel, Angeline. Um, same thing as with Joe. Um, Jesse will be in contact with you, tell you all the awesome stuff you need to know. Ba ba ba. Third person, drum roll, is <laughs> Madison. Madison, congratulations. Welcome to the Beetle Submarine. Um, once again, I'm getting tired of saying this. Jesse will be in contact with you. Welcome to the channel, Madison. And last but certainly not least, we got <clears throat> Eleanor. Eleanor, welcome to the channel. Jesse will be in contact with you. I don't have to say that anymore. Yeah, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Beetle Submarine family. And we will be we will be in contact with you like ASAP. Like probably within minutes of this video being posted. Thank you to everybody who auditioned. Everybody had really great auditions. There was really there was really a lot of creativity going on. The idea that you had to make a video like you were on the Beetle Submarine really changed auditions from how we used to do them. We sort of did that last time, but now it was full on, you know, make the video like you were on the Beetle Submarine. Um, and that went very well because you all were very creative and very interesting, all had different ideas. It was very great. So, welcome to the channel, everybody. Yeah, new subbies! So yeah, keep checking your emails, new submariners, and uh, let's be friends. Okay, now obviously the more important part of this video. This is what I'm going to call... The wisest words of Beetle Maniacs. Because whenever you watch footage of Beetle Maniacs, they are so emotional and into what they're saying, and sometimes it makes sense, other times you're like, what? A lot of things that I really relate to that they say, and that's things that I feel too. So hopefully you guys do. So here's a list in no particular order because I could not put these in a favorite order if I tried. Love them. I don't care what anybody thinks. I love the Beatles for them, and I'll always love them. Even when I'm 105 and an old grandmother, I love them. And Paul McCartney, if you are listening, Adrian from Brooklyn loves you with all her heart. I love you, Paul, and please come to the window so I can just see you. I saw you smoking before, and I kissed the limousine you looked at him. But I love you, and I want you, Paul. Please look at it. And Ringo, you can look at it too, because I like you. I don't know about you, but I want to be this girl. Come on, this is like the Beatle Maniac theme song. Have you ever been this crazy about any other entertainer? No. and that's what's so amazing. We don't know why we're like this. That is one of the mysteries of many Beatle Maniacs. Tell me, what do you feel when you hear the Beatles singing? Oh, I think I'm gonna drop dead. <laughs> don't we all? Ringo has a sexy nose. Because he does. 
What, well, what is there about the Beatles that you like? They're it? gorgeous. They have oh, that beautiful. Beautiful. They got that certain something. They do. The Beatles really do have a certain something that none of us can explain. I mean, yeah, we could say they have talent, they have humor, they have looks. They have talent, they have humor, they have, no, <laughs> like, they have so much more than that. But we can't really describe what it is, because there's a lot of people that have talent, that have humor, that have looks, and the Beatles are just better than them. So what is it? What is it? That I wouldn't tear him apart, speak to him like a decent human being, and that, he, that he's the, really the greatest in show business. It sounds like you have sort of a crush on Paul McCartney. Yes, that's true. Now this is a respectful fan. I really like this fan, because not only did she have an awesome painting of Paul McCartney, she really is a respectful fan, you know? I wouldn't tear him apart, which, you know, she's treating him like a human being, which is nice. See, we don't usually like, well, we don't like rock and roll. Yeah. But we think they're just great. The Beatles are for everybody. You don't have to like old music to like the Beatles. I feel like I'm on a commercial. Because they do it for Frank Sinatra and they do it for Elvis Presley. Yes, I think it's the way they are. Well, it's part of their age, you know, like getting crushes. We get it. I like this adult because a lot of adults you see back in well, when Beatlemania was first going on, they were really annoyed or like, oh, you know, kids and their hair and the who. And because <laughs> that's what they, that's how they talk. This one, she doesn't, you can tell she's not a fan, but she gets it. You don't know music if you don't listen to them. Amen. Do you think the Beatles are out of style? Never, they'll never go out of style. They will not. The Beatles will never go out of style. And then he turned around and it was George and I almost had a cardiac arrest. But I didn't want to make a big scene because I know George doesn't like that. This is another respectful fan. But she's so relatable. Even if we're, even if we're not going to be respectful fans, we relate to her. But they, they sort of represent the teenage people. I like that. I, I like that title. They represent the teenage people. I mean, they sort of represent everybody, but being a teenager, I like that even more. They're great. I think they're boss. They're boss, man. They're boss. Tell me, when you hear a Beatles record, what thoughts run through your mind? Beauty. Sheer beauty. Beatles bring joy into the world. The, the happiness. We forget our kids when we hear Beatles records. They're fun. Tell me this, how long do you think the Beatles can last? Well, I wish they'd last forever. They could bring happiness to everybody. But they're pretty much on their way out, aren't they? I don't really think so. Look at this. Tell me they're on their way out, and look at this. A lot of empty seats here tonight. Well, majority is filled, look. I would like to nominate this fan for greatest fan ever, because she hits the nail on the head like 40 million times. These Beatles have looks, they have talent, they have... Uh... They just have brains. I mean, they're really smart for getting in this business, like, as soon as they did, you know, and all that. <laughs> the Beatles just have everything. And he shook, he shook our hands at 6.15 p.m. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that really just sounds like something I would say. How much did it cost you to get in here tonight? 6.50. You think it's worth it, huh? No! I pay a million! Yes. Yes, very, yeah, agreed, yes. What's wrong? I love Paul and I can't tell him! <laughs> Isn't that what tortures us all? Is it a very cold? No, that's, it's, we're so happy to be cold. <laughs> the fandom stands strong against Mother Nature. I don't, I don't think I'd ever give up my ticket. I mean, maybe like the rest of them said, just if I could meet the Beatles, but no, for no other reason at all. This girl is me. Oh. Well, they're all nice. George looks a little bit better. Yes, he does. <laughs> you like the sound, do you? Yes, all the other groups copy it, you see. Most of the other groups copy their sound. And what about the hairstyle? Oh, that's even better. It is. This is just what our generation has needed. I mean, every other generation before us has had, I mean, someone that they could really look up to and adore, and the Beatles are just what I've been waiting for. I'm ending with this one, because it's a really great way to sum it up. Like, really. 40s had Sinatra, 50s had Elvis, 60s. I mean, they had great, before the Beatles, there was great music, but there wasn't that one, you know, thing to represent that decade, and 60s has Beatles. So I hope you guys enjoyed those wise words from Beatlemaniacs. Um, I really do think they are very wise words. <laughs> whether we laugh at them or whether we seriously agree with them, I think they are very wise words. And I think they all represent the fandom very well. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next week. Um, hopefully, next week we'll see some of our new submariners. Not too sure about that because who's ever getting Sunday? They got like a day to put a video together. So we'll see. Maybe not because they might be a little rushed at the moment from finding out right now that they gotta go film a video. And they don't even know what day they have right now. And oh my god. So, um, bear with us. Um, <laughs> So new submariners, welcome to the channel. Thanks to everybody who auditioned, and I will see you guys next week.